Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use AI to massively improve your designs and stay on the cutting edge of the design industry. I'm gonna show you this with a poster design to give you a clear example, but you can do this with logo design, packaging design, nearly any form. I'm gonna create a new document here, and I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna keep it as a print A4, 300 PPI, and this is in Photoshop. Now, I wanna design a sort of minimalistic poster, but let's say I haven't got time to, you know, go on my sketch pad and come up with some cool layouts. And I don't want to go online and search for layouts because that's kind of like copying. So what do we do? Let's go to Mid Journey. In Mid Journey, you can prompt AI to give you images and it will give you four to which you can select one to upscale to make it look better. So I typed in minimalism typographic poster optimistic. And this is what it churned out for me, these four here. And I liked them all. This one up here seemed the best. You can see that the writing, it's got letters in there, but it doesn't make any sense. However, I really like this layout. So let's go for this kind of layout. I'm gonna go into Photoshop and I'm gonna create some guides. I've created them 10 by eight. This just gives us nice even squares or as much as possible. You could even like go more than this to have it even more squared in there. And that's good for graphic elements. It's not always good for typography. Okay, let's bring some text in. Okay, I don't like that font. We're gonna choose one that looks similar to the one that we saw on the poster. We can play around with it later. And I'm gonna just do this like line by line instead of using the whole word. Change the text to a black. I kind of like black. Okay, I kind of like the look of it. It looks similar to the one on Mid Journey that we got inspiration from from our layout. Now to change this up a little bit, I'm gonna make some cool effects on the typeface to make it look a bit more dystopian. I'm gonna right click and convert to Smart Object. I'm going to go to Filter and we're going to go to Liquify. This is the most fun tool ever. And we're gonna just move this around slightly. Now the trick with this is you don't want to change all the elements. The more subtle you are in some areas, the better. And if we start warping this area up here, it becomes harder for people to know what the word is. So we've gotta do this kinda of tastefully. If you don't like what you've just done, you can just go to the rebuild function. So you press R to go to reconstruct and it'll reconstruct it for you. Now, when we press okay, you'll see it looks a bit crazy and a bit flat. So we're gonna add some blur to give this sort of three dimensions. Again, go to filter, go down to blur gallery. We're gonna go to field blur. Um, this is a crazy cool tool because what we can do is select points of where we want it to be blurred and it creates this sort of mesh. So you see, I'm selecting these two points. I'm asking this point here to be very blurry, but over here, I don't want any blur. And you can play around with this as much as you want and just press okay. If you ever wanna edit this or change it, or you have to do in your smart object is just double click on where it is in the layers and you can just go ahead and edit that now that we've got the base of our poster done we've got the information we can start adding creative elements in there but let's say that you can't just go to a stock website maybe you want to create something completely unique well, that's where Mid Journey or other AI programs come in. I'm going to use Mid Journey. Now, I asked Mid Journey to create a sphere. I wanted to know what a glowing sphere would look like. So I asked it to create a 3D realistic glowing sphere on a dark black background minimalism. Minimalism being there so it doesn't have unnecessary details that I don't want. And this is what it churned out. It churned out quite a few different ones. I ended up choosing this one here. Because I've got the paid version of Mid Journey, I can use these in some of my works. So what I'm gonna do is take this image and bring it into my poster, but we can use any image that you like. You can come up with abstract forms, such as the ones that I've created down here. So I'm gonna bring in that orb into here. I'm gonna change some of the blend modes as well, because I feel like we can create some cool things in here. I'm gonna change blend mode to color dodge. That's just a really simple way, and I'm gonna scale this up. And then I'm actually gonna bring in another image as well. I'm gonna save this one. I'm going to create it and just put it into the background here and we can create some cool patterns out of this. I'm going to just bring the layer style functions and get rid of some of this black, make it a bit more into the background there so it doesn't look just purely black. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to choose a color of just like kind of this grayish and just make some noise out of this. I'm going to press overlay and you can see what we're doing. We're just creating some crazy, crazy looking work just here. What I will do, in fact, reduce some of that contrast. So the great thing about AI is that you can create some amazing looking work or create ideas for logos or for posters using it. 
whether that's for creating assets for posters or creating a layout or even ideating the layout. It does it faster, smarter, and it gives you even more creative potential in your work. It will not replace you. It is a tool to be used. AI does a lot for your work, but sometimes us designers need a little help on the financial side, especially when it comes to tax time. There's a lot to love about being your own boss, but trying to figure out your own financials and becoming an overnight accountant isn't one of those things. Luckily, there's FreshBooks, the all-in-one, easy-to-use accounting solution that's built for business owners like yourself. FreshBooks is an easy-to-use accounting and invoicing software that makes it simple to send invoices and receive payments. Plus, it keeps your income and expenses organized, so you won't be begging your accountant for help the day before your taxes are due. It has everything you need to manage your books, like invoicing and expense and time tracking, automated payments and reports that tell you just how healthy your business is. And right now, there's a brand new offer just for subscribers of my channel. Head over to the link down below in the description and on screen to get a massive 90% off your FreshBooks subscription for four months. Thank you, FreshBooks, for sponsoring the video. I also used AI to create another poster, which was just a bit more of a fun thing, but I thought I would show you. I used AI to create the layout or to give me ideas for it and it came up with this really cool one where I put the grids in place to do it. But this sphere is in the back as well, as you can see. However, we can add even more into this. This image of the boat looks like it's from a stock website. It looks crazy unique and you can use it inside of your work. So you can see how Mid Journey and other AI programs can really help in creating assets for you. This is just a very basic way of using AI in graphic design to help you become even more creative. There's a quote that I love and I saw on Instagram the other day and it is, AI will not replace humans. Humans using AI will replace humans. And I think that is so true when it comes to creativity and where we're at right now. You may look at this video and think oh, you've just taken basically stock images, but if you were to scale this up and to really spend time inside of Mid Journey or these other programs, use AI for your client work, then you can start to see some of the power that you have to create images and to create ideas. So instead of sketching, maybe the future is all about prompting prompting AI to come up with different perspectives for us creative professionals. So if you've done any design work where you've used Dale or Mid Journey, let me know in the comments and post it on our subreddit, which is linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.